Its total control over the boundaries of space enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. Fourth gen remakes confirmed. Giratina. Furthering my point. Hey guys, Pokemon here with another episode of Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we went through Lush Jungle and beat Mallow's Trial just barely, knocking out both our fire types. Fun! Um, but now we're here in Hia Hia City, or Hee Hee City, <laughs> um, and heading to the Dimensional Research Lab, where Kukui is waiting for us. For some reason. Lily. Go, Nebby, use, use Splash. Heh, <laughs> I was just acting like I was Brendan. Oh, I am flattered. Why, thank you, Lily. <laughs> you you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers, or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I saw Brendan and Howe, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride th straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Plural? Plural. Oh. Um, oh, Brendan, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. Th there's a laboratory here that studies dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How were your island trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It, not gonna lie, it was really tough. I would think so, but still, you made it through all three. I think that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Rockruff there, I mean. I haven't used this thing in a while, what do you mean understood? I honestly didn't even use it in the fire trial. Onto the dimensional research lab through the dimensions of my decks. Though the dimensions of my decks are perfect. Oh, Rotom. Why? Okay, so there's a... Oh, wait. No. I already got this one. The uh, Zygarde cell that was here. I already got it. There's a couple in Lush Jungle, I'm pretty sure, that I still need to get. Um, Because I don't think I saw any in there. You're going to the Dimensional Research Lab, aren't you? Anyone can tell that. After all, there's nothing else upstairs. Dimensional Research, huh? That reminds me of something I heard from some rare Pokemon that can use rings to teleport itself through space. Are you perhaps talking about Hoopa? Or maybe some... Some donut Pokemon? Some space donut. Space donut. If I don't in... If I don't name the episode that, that's crime. Hey there, honey. Oh, hi. Interesting. This here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? And she's also my wife. Burnett. Dimensional Research. That's the professor from the Dream Radar. Cause she was just she researched something I think it was called the inter dream zone which is where like you could get Pokemon like the theory and forms of uh, Tornadus Thunderous Alanderous and you could get Pokemon and bring them to black two white two that's amazing the fifth gen references continue what the heck is their obsession with fifth gen so far anyway you're Brendan right Nah, let's go. I don't know. You're Brendan, right? That's not much different. Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, in her bag also unconscious. Hmm, know how today? How? He's doing his own thing. He's out doing his own thing. But he'll probably be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like the... Like old Hala before him. You really think so? Whoa. Well, yeah, I really do. 
Good seeing you, Hal. Uh, good to see you again, Hal. Where did I get good seeing you from? It's been a while since I last saw you. Oh, good, good to see you, Hal. It's been a while since I last saw you. That was Burnett. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyhow. Ha, ha, ha. Huh. Huh. I'm sorry. I brought Brendan I brought Brendan here because I wanted you to tell him about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Aloha. I'd be happy to. The mysterious the mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the ultra wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens up in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. Pure. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's there are plenty of uh, there is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the island fought desperately against them. Of the islands. There are four of them. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Sweet. What is proof? What does the prof think we got nothing better to do than talk to folks? Well, it is an RPG. Palkia. Its total control over the boundaries of space enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. Fourth gen remakes confirmed. Giratina. Furthering my point, uh, this Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours, where common knowledge is distorted and strange. Bronzong. Furthering my point, <laughs> it brought rains by opening portals to another world. It was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvests. Why is that Bronzong, Bronzong's thing? Professor Burnett was previously studying a dimensional space called the Interdream Zone. Yup, that's her. There was a man named Mon who years ago published his theory about the Ultra Wormholes. What was he, Professor Mon? If you use battle teams, you can not only register six special teams from your boxes, you can even register the same Pokemon in more than one battle team at a time. That's why battle teams are the best. Not till January, bro. If you use the Versus Recorder, you can not only Rewatch old Link battles you had with others. You can even hold mock battles against the teams captured in the battle video. That's why battle videos are the best. They really are, like, I've done that before. It's actually useful. Well, it's useful against people who you know will, like, bring the same Pokemon each time. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions and books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab. I know told me this already. Can, can I? Oh, sorry, Slowpoke. There are many writings about the interdream zone that exists between reality and dreams. Okay, nothing. Can I have your computer? Do I get no information? Po, po, po. Can I wear this lab coat? Nothing, Magnemite. Mag. Plur. Oh, a thing. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I'd wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way, and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kukwi, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind. And she's still helping me try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Oh, Lily. You're wishing for that, the motherly love. 
that you've always desired. What did I mean by that? It's so random. How about that, Brendan? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kinds of moves they can use. Really, Kukui? You finished all three of Akala's trials. Woo! Now it comes to the big match against Olivia. The Island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here in Akala. The Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's Tunnel. It's in Coney Coney City. But watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about. So I'll stay here. My god. <laughs> I'm off to check out Diglett's Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Yep. That is true. Diglett's Tunnel, what a lucky bunch. I want to have a place named after me too. I mean, you have the old chateau. Does that count? Oh, and the Rotom decks, fourth gen remakes confirmed. Am I right or am I right? Like, come on. So that was interesting, I guess, off Diglett's Tunnel. Weird. Interesting. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky? Hey, Brendan! So you made it through the three captain's trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel? It's... Let's see. From here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to walk right past, though, so keep your eyes peed. Er, eyes... Eyes peeled. Not peed. It's weird. Now it's Malasada time for me. Oh, he already ran off. <laughs> As I was reading that. Oh yeah, it's really hard to miss with this map. Oops, I walked past it. <laughs> how? Exactly how? <laughs> but what was I... What was I gonna say? Something. I'll figure it out after this. Olivia and the Aether Foundation. Okay. Huh? Oh, Brendan, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they're all getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let's see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Brendan. Nice work. I see you've even passed Mallow's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down, too. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Coney Coney City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. If we get through this tunnel, we'll just stops away from Coney Coney City. Big boy. Awkward. So, is there anywhere actually that I can explore outside of here it's a Zubit I have a feeling I've caught everything in this cave speaking of which it's a Zubat too bad you're the rock type trainer that I need to fight for the Rocky and Z because I could really use that right about now big lit Diglett's Tunnel. So is there anything I can explore outside of this? Pokeearth, not Kanto, not Diglett's Cave, Alola. So Zubat and Diglett, and <laughs> Nihilego post-game. Yeah, there's nothing I can... There's nothing I can do. Um... Not, not really. Can I go to the beach yet? And the, the hotel? Not yet, right? No. Okay. So I... I don't have any reason to catch anything in here. I want to catch any new things that I find, but so far nothing I'm finding is new. 
And I know there's nothing new in this cave, so there's no point in not using a repel. Um, but... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I have like these random reactions where like I've, I've told you guys that I've played through Moon already, but at the same time I'm always like surprised by certain things. Cause when I played through Moon, I like spammed through text and barely paid attention to what I was doing. My main objective with that was like, just get through the game. So, there are gonna be certain things where I'm just like, wait, what? Or like, why is that a thing? X attack. That's useless. Is there a TM back here? I know there's something back here. Oh, uh, just an item. Firestone. Can that be an ice stone, please? I need an ice stone. Oh, this is gonna not be fun. Considering how little repels last, and I have three of them. Whew. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. Yeah, sure. It seems like Team Skull is responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them up all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is a group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on the near surface though, so be careful. Now I know they're supposed to be good. At least they're supposed to be good. But they do a really bad job of portraying that in the beginning of the game. Because you see them chasing down Lily. Who is a character who is one of the main protagonists of the game. So, how can you say, oh, these are the good guys, when they're chasing down Lily. And they have, like, very... They just look look shifty and not not all nice I don't know they just did a very bad job of trying to portray the fact that they are nice and the good guys I'm just gonna leave it at that because <laughs> I might have not been paying much attention when I was playing moon but I paid attention to some things and things that definitely weren't surprises. Training kiss should kill, right? Yeah. Yeah, Barry. <laughs> you know, I always look at Barry and think, I'm gonna replace you with something later, but then I realize I'm just gonna, I'm so attached to him already. What would I replace him with? And why do I have my heart so set on replacing Barry? Barry's so good. There's nothing over here, right? I know there's a guy that will battle you if you fight everyone in here. But I don't think there's anything actually useful off this ledge. There's this item. And this trainer. But nothing past that. These are all going to be like construction workers with fighting types and other things. There's really going to be no one in here that I can use Rock Rough well against. Exactly. You can obliterate my Rock type. <laughs> so please no. Please no don't. Fire is super... That's weird. That's weird. Um... Oh, this is a ground type. Oops. Nope. 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 That was almost bad. This is a ground type. <laughs> Gotta think carefully. Mud slap, I don't like you. 
It sounded like his name is Mudslap. Mudslap, you stupid dicklet. Okay. Stop it. Stop being yourself. I could care for them, but there's no like functional use for it because they're all already max affection. Oh, that's just a way to get around this trainer. It's you, right? Oops. Oh, repel. Looks like you're a fellow Z trainer. F fight all the trainers, take me on. So that's the thing with those like Z move trainers. Most of them never actually use a Z move. If you fight them, they're just gonna... There's like a low chance that they will, but that's the same case with like all trainers that have Z moves. Like even, like all the captains are supposed to have Z moves. And I don't think it used one against me, against her. All the, all the kahunas. I don't think Holly used a Z-move against me. And that's the only one I've fought so far. Great. Okay, this is, th that makes it even better. Um, now I need repels. Oh, okay. I had to fight you anyway. Um, I need to run back just because I'm low on repels. Have I bought super repels or have I just been going off of those ones that I have? Those repels that I now don't have anymore. Uh, I think I'm just, I've just been going off of those repels. So I need to buy some. Mystery. Let's use you. We haven't used high horsepower yet. And most likely this thing has sturdy, so we won't get to use high horsepower. <laughs> or we will, but it won't do much. Oh, please do this. Please keep doing this. Please just like be a skill link rag and roll. Up. Three. Yeah. Why can't it hit six times? Okay. At least I'm plus three. Boom! Destruction! Clamp! Like there's like Iron Fist, this thing should. It should have like had an ability to boost kicking moves, so I guess Iron Foot? Iron Kick? No, that sounds like a move. I don't know, it should have had. They should have made some sort of ability that boosts like kicking moves like high horsepower because there's a horseshoe um, and a double kick triple kick blaze kick jump kick high jump kick um, well well you're dead anyway <laughs> well so am I forgetting anything drop kick <laughs> Specifically for Serena. Are there, there are more kicking moves than that. What would be classified as a kicking move that doesn't have the word kick in it? Now, since I can't think of any kicking moves off the top of my head, or any more, why am I trying to think of any off the top of my head that don't actually have that word in it? Let's see. Oh, rocks. Just get me to level 25. If I do anything important this episode, it's evolving my rock rough. Especially since I only have a couple more hours on that whole daytime thing. <gasps> It's time. This modest rock rough. Yes! Rocky's evolving! Da, 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 da.
Like in rock. It's the midday form. I haven't gotten to use this thing yet. Because I've only gotten to use the midnight form. I have it on my moon team. Actually, technically, two of the Pokemon from my moon team I have on this team. Lycanroc and... I have a Mudsdale there. So Mudbray will turn into that. Um... Ah, Diggity, look at you. You're on fire. You filled in a single... All the Pokemon in a single page. It's like we're playing bingo over here. Its quick movements confuse its enemies. While well equipped with claws and fangs, it also uses sharp rocks in its maze as weapons. Oh, in its mane as weapons. I was like, what maze does this thing have? <gasps> Excel rock! Yes, forget a move. Do I need rock throw? Or rock tomb? 40 power priority. 60 power. Z Howl and Z Leer are essentially the same thing. I'll get rid of z -Lear. Cause I don't need both of them. And they essentially do the same thing anyway. But but then again, I'm thinking about it in terms of the Z moves. Like in rock. You're awesome. So, low kick. Low kick is one. This way. I can see it on the map. Um, that's all of them. Hitmonlee should. Hitmonlee could use that ability. What abilities does Hitmonlee even get? Limber, reckless, and unburdened. You could probably do without Limber. Because Reckless is... useful-ish? Oh, wait. I wanted to uh, buy Repels. Oh, look, you have a Sparkling Z Crystal. You cleared Malice Trial. Congratulations. Now you can purchase more items. So, welcome to Pokemon. May I help you? Yes, you can. Can I buy Super Repels? Yes. I'll buy all of them. No. I'll buy 30. Eh, is that too much? Nope. No, it is not. Because there are events that can get me 20,000 bucks in no time. Oh, I forgot to go back to that guy for the stuffle. Um, since there's only like two minutes left in the episode, might as well do that now. I almost forgot about that. I caught a stuffle. Off camera. I did a lot of catching. Between the episode before last episode and last episode, I caught a lot of things. I told you guys about this. So, let's go get that reward from the Aether person. Is this, this is like slightly slower than Tauros, but not too slow. It's just more convenient because I don't have to press B. You got a stuffle? Then would you show me your Pokedex? I see. The biology of the stuffle is one that we hadn't yet discovered, hadn't yet uncovered in our own research. This is just the level of detail that I knew we could expect from the Pokedex. And not from me, from the Pokedex? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here's your pay. Well, not as much as I would have expected for a rare encounter on the route. Thank you for helping us with our research. I think we'll have an even better understanding of Stuffle thanks to this. Why did that take me so long to read? Um, I also accepted, I also showed the guy on Route 3 that I caught a rock ruff. I forgot to do that, so I showed him. And he gave me like 20,000, which was really good. So, back to Hia Hia City, and we've essentially made no progress. So I'll have to go through the cave, 
fought the trainers and went to the dimensional research lab, but really not too much progress was made. Regardless, I'm going to end this one here, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all later. <laughs>